All right, guys, good morning. I, I should have hit record on the camera a little bit earlier today because this whole area right in here was just piled with plants that needed to be moved that have just been sitting out here since fall and through the winter. Some things freshly potted in the last few months that are just not ready to be sold because they're not rooted in at all. But this area right out here, as you can just see in the camera, it's very open and cleared out, generally speaking now, but it was just a wreck. So now it is Wednesday morning and we've got today and of course tomorrow before we open on Friday, but now we can really work on getting this area kind of set up with our plants and displays the way that we want them. And tomorrow being Thursday, we've got a load of annuals coming in and we're gonna get our tables out here and get annuals put out here on the tables with our vegetables and all that. So we've got a ton of setup to do today and we're just organizing and arranging today and we need to get our, the ends of our two shade houses put up today. That's gonna hopefully wind up not being a huge problem, but sometimes that's hard to do. So we got several things to do today. In addition to all of that, yesterday we discovered that all of our little plant picture cards had been destroyed and basically they got drowned and anyway, you know how paper and water mix. So I've had to take the time at night to redo all of those and we send those to a print shop and they print them and laminate them for us and make them up real nice. But you know, that was another three or four hours of work to do that I didn't have. So we're a little bit behind, at least it feels like we're behind on all of this, but our plants look great. Um, things are progressing well this week. I'm starting to feel in a little bit over my head just because of the time factor, but we're gonna just keep plugging along and keep getting things put together. And this thing's gonna open nine o'clock Friday morning, whether we're ready or not. So we're gonna be ready. Hey, I want to show y'all a plant real quick that's new to us. I want you to just tell me what you think about it. Um, it's a holly. Not a big fan of hollies in general, but let me show you this one. This is called a Golden Oakland. Let's check out the leaves on this thing. They're pretty awesome looking. That variegated foliage is beautiful. And these things get like 10 to 15 feet tall with time, but they don't grow particularly fast. But we grabbed 15 of these, I'm sorry, 50 of these from our wholesaler the other day, trade gallon size. I'm just gonna show you what one looks like. If you can see that, I'm sure that's hard to see. But anyway, we're gonna give them a shot and just see if our customers like them or not. Pretty cool looking plant to me though. So in the middle of today, Wednesday, I had to be a dad and do dad stuff, can't always do only plant stuff. So check out what happened today. I got chickens today, and they're so cute. Yeah, so we got we have 11 new chickens. Carly and I ran down to a local hatchery about 20 or 25 miles from here, and it looks like we are now chicken parents. While we're setting up and moving stuff around, it's worth mentioning that these are just a few trees that we had left over from our fall plant sale last year, and this is an ivory silk lilac, and this is a Carolina silver bell. So I think there's four of these, and four well there's four of each so actually there's five silver bells and four lilacs and it's really happy that they overwintered we had no expectations for them we didn't try to protect them at all despite that they're in these root maker pots they completely froze solid and they just um held up well so we're gonna stick them out in our cells this spring and maybe we can still make some money off of them we'll see and these are our leftover blueberries if y'all remember back in february we had a, a fruit tree sale and a blueberry sale well, this is the blueberries we had left. There's still four varieties here, a total of only 127 plants. I'm sorry, 27 plants. And we started with 180. And I think these will all be gone on Friday or opening morning. I'm pretty sure they will be. But anyway, we also have these as some carryovers, you know, just from an earlier sale. Granted, it was just a few weeks ago, but we'll be glad to offer these. 
All right, guys, we got a lot of things going today. We've had problems overnight with storms, and this video may be out of order for the day, but it is what it is. Isn't that what they say? But we got to get these end walls put back up. And here's the thing. This is a royal pain in the rear to do this. So getting the big pieces of shade cloth all the way across here is not that hard to do. But these on the ends are cut to fit. And when we took these down back in, I was informed by my assistant that I stepped out of the picture there when I went up higher. But as I was saying, when we took this down in January before the snowstorm, we took we left it attached on the bottom and it's just been laying here on the ground. But this is not as easy to get back up here as you might think it is. And part of that is because it's cut pretty well perfectly to fit this. And well, there's just not anything perfect about the way that this goes back up here. And it's probably better to just take a whole new piece of shade cloth, put it up here and cut out a new door. That's probably a much easier way to do this. I don't have any more shade cloth to do that with. So our goal is just to get this one wrestled into place. And when I say wrestled, this stuff has some stretch to it, not a lot, but <laughs> over there on the end of that shade house, we absolutely butchered it and we're leaving it. And guys, I've told y'all this before, but I've talked to my plants about it and they don't care. And if my plants don't care, I don't care. We're just trying to make it not look like an eyesore as much as we can. So anyway, we're gonna be fighting and struggling with this for a little while. So this may change your mind. If you're thinking about having a nursery, you may see us trying to do this and say, I don't wanna have anything to do with that shade cloth. So anyway, this is what we're doing. So it took us about 45 minutes to get this end wall up, which is not long considering how much trouble we had on that other one over there. But that leaves us one wall down there and then the two on the Hosta house to go. And we'll probably just get to that one back there today. And that'd be awesome if we could get that up today. Then tomorrow we'll be able to get the last two done. So it's really good to be able to get this done. This probably doesn't look like much to y'all, but this is one of those things that you put off like going to the dentist and you just don't want to deal with it. Well, that's this, but thankfully it's getting put up and this is really coming together. Well, guys, we got this last end wall up. So that's three finished tunnels with six finished end walls and we're thrilled about it. We didn't have too much trouble with it. We really only had trouble with one end wall on one tunnel. So all in all, pretty good. It's slow, it's tedious, it's annoying work, but we got it done and we're pretty happy about that. And just to take a look in here, we've got everything kind of situated in here and we'll, we're gonna go through this in more detail tomorrow. But just to get a big picture of kind of how it looks in here, you can see the color is spectacular. We'll get our annuals in tomorrow. I think I've already mentioned that, but there's those golden Oakland hollies I mentioned and there's just color in here everywhere. And this is what I want people to see when they come in. I want their impression to be that there's beautiful perennials in bloom right now, despite the fact that it's only late March. So really maybe not technically be perennial season, but lots of beautiful, beautiful plants. And this is gonna add greatly to what we're doing for our sale this weekend. So guys, that's it for today. We're gonna knock off a little bit early, but it's only about two o'clock in the afternoon right now. I've got to get in and get this movie made and I got church tonight and supper and all the rest. So by the time we get to that, I'm already gonna be out of time. So once again, thank y'all for being with us today. I cannot wait to show y'all tomorrow's video. It is gonna be packed with a lot of stuff because there's a lot going on tomorrow on the eve before opening day. Maybe that's a holiday, like opening day eve. There you go. Well, that's what tomorrow is. So guys, thank y'all for being here today. I'll see y'all tomorrow.